Alright guys, what's up and welcome back! What a great way to start the video. Alright guys, that was SCP-106. Um, we're gonna start the video off with that because that would... <laughs> What a good way to start an SCP video, right? So, we are now in 106's pocket dimension. And by the way, guys, I know it's been like a month since I've done this series last. I do apologize. What in the... Oh, we good? Oh, I think we got lucky. Okay, so... We haven't left the pocket dimension, have we? Oh... Where in the world are we? Oh no, not the plane, not the plane, not the plane, not the plane, not the plane! Ah, it's the plane! I was afraid of this moment, and I knew it was going to happen one day. Ever since I did that SCP showcase on Gary's mod, I knew I was going to see the plane of the pocket dimension. Okay, guys. I've, ooh. It definitely does force you to look at it. I see why the NPC does that now. But... What is the point of that, though? That's my question. No, we have a bigger problem, though, guys. We are bleeding. I can hear the drip sounds. And I... No. What's the navigator say? Error. Location unknown. Well, that's just dandy. Another plane. Does the pl does the plane hurt you? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Is it? I think it's trying to turn me around. Maybe that's what it's meant to do. This is so cool, though, guys. I did not think we we're gonna start the video off in the mother effing pocket dimension. And not only that, but we get to see the freaking plane. I really hope we get out of here soon, though, guys, because if we don't, we're going to die. Yeah, I can see what the plane does. It like forces you to look at it, so you don't know where you're going. Oh, the dripping is going further. So if you guys want to know, when you get to the throne room, you crouch down, um, and then you just kind of, well, do your thing. We might have to reload. You are feeling faint from the amount of blood you have lost. Oh, yeah, well, I, I wonder why. This is only hurting us, guys. I'm taking it off. No man's land. Are we out? Oh, we're out. But I am in horrendous condition and I see no med kit in sight. Please. Do we have anything? Transceiver? This is looking really bad, guys. I might have to actually load the save. Wait. A medkit! Oh! Oh, thank the Lord! We might be good. The wounds are too severe to stop the bleeding completely. Well, then it's useless! I'm walking like the hunchback of Notre Dame. This is re This is dumb. I, I, I seriously, like... I've only seen one of those in this entire facility. And it doesn't even heal us completely. All right, one more time, one more time. You will not get us 106, not this time, I don't think so. We found the SCP that can transform. <gasps> Shiza. Okay, we still might be good. What is this? Burnt notes. In accordance with our new safety protocol, SCP-02-N, the personnel, or SP-02-N, my bad. Dr. George Maynard. Your new personnel access code is 8946. Could that have been 106 when he was alive? We're not out of here just yet. Uh oh. This is... Ugh, it's just like in Gary's mod, with the freaking pendulum things. Okay. Go, 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 go! Ooh! Alright, I think we solid. I think we good. No. Go, 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 don't get pushed off. Ah, oh, okay. Whew. 
And this time, I think we're much better off. I don't think we took nearly as much damage. Am I bleeding? What's that? Okay, guys. We can now use the navigator. Thankfully, this, this thing is literally a lifesaver, okay? I just, I don't know if I should save yet, because... SCP-049. Are we ready for the plague, Doctor? You placed your palm into the scanner. The can scanner reads, DNA does not match known sample. We need a sample of DNA to go through. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. No looking back now. 049, here we come. How lovely. What a way to start off our adventure going into 049's chambers. And we have a note. Research sector. Ooh. Ah, I see. We can see where the power control is. And that must be where we have to go to enable the power. Luckily, we do have this lovely night vision goggle set. And it looks like 049 has escaped. Okay, my guy's breathing really heavy for some reason. Are we good? Oh, we're good now. <sighs> okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, no. 049 zombies have been awoken. And... Okay, okay, guys. I have, I have a plan. You ready? I'm going to lure them into here. And then I'm going to close the door. I don't know if they can open doors, so we might... Come on, I need the other one in here. Oh, no, he's... Bo don't, don't body block, man. Don't be a douche like that. Okay. Good, 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 good. And I'm just going to trust you close the door there we go awesome and I don't think they can open that good okay so now they're out of our hair now we can focus solely on the matter at hand okay I am going to use this med kit like it's the last one on earth because it might be you took painkillers easing the pain slightly ah wait painkillers I thought that was a med kit anyway Let's take a look. Okay, elevator power feed. Okay, now it's using the generator. The main sh is probably offline. I think the generator is the only thing that's really working here, guys. So we should be able to use the elevator now. But first, let's take a good close look at 049 chambers. And 049 is, of course, missing. Is that a level four? Oh, nice. Okay, I don't give two shizes what's going on. I'm saving. Uh, is it F5 or F3? F5? Oh, it's F5. Okay. Whew. Awesome. Okay, I'm so happy now, guys. I, I don't think we're dying. Pretty sure we're healthy. Not bleeding or anything like that. Oh, yeah, and here's the document for 049. His touch is invariably lethal to humans. After a period of a few minutes... SCP-049-2 will resume vital signs. And that's what we just witnessed that we locked in that room was pretty much 049-2. And that's what he'll do to us if he gets us, but he won't, so let's just uh, let's just move on. Now, I'm kind of scared we're going to run into him. That's... Boom! <laughs> Zero four nine, don't do this to me. I did not expect him to come out of that <laughs> elevator. That was quite a surprise. All right, you can keep your greetings, boy, and keep them with you and your stupid slaves. I want to get out of here. I hate slowing down. This is really giving me anxiety. Oh, of course it's locked. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. That was a bit scary, but I think we got it under control. Not only did we find 049, but we also found 106 in this video. So this is turning out to be a very eventful one, guys. Finally, something is happening. We have the same issue. The door appears to be locked. There's one saving grace, though, guys. Who dropped that? Wait, we dropped that. No, we didn't. My teeth are feeling odd. 
An SCP associated with teeth. I can't recall any off the top of my head. Well, hold on to that note, though. I don't know where it came from. Maybe that vent? Who broke into... Oh, no. <clears throat> a bell trapped inside gelatin so it cannot make a sound because those who make the sound of the bell will be haunted by an entity until they eventually commit suicide. SCP-513. Hmm, you know what? Oh, I cannot carry more items. Okay, um, we don't need level 2 anymore, so we're going to drag that out. And if you ring it, he will come. Okay, 513. Let's go. So just so you guys know, 513 doesn't actually hurt you. Like, he, he, he doesn't, you know, physically kill you. But what he does do is he's always in your peripheral vision. Always there. Behind you. Around you. When you go to the restroom, you'll see him in the mirror. Stuff like that. And it's because of this why he's so deadly. Because he ends up making people commit suicide. We have the Euclid. Let's go ahead and drop something here. Let's do... Drop that, because that's... We don't need that. 513. An unremarkable rusty cow... I just realized... 049 could be following us. I don't think he's going to be following us from this far, so... Whose chamber... There he was. You see that? I just saw him in my peripheral. That was... Whose chamber... A duck, huh? I recall doing an SCP duck video, so uh, maybe that's him. This is pretty cool. We're at a whole new part of the facility I'm going to save, just in case. I also want to mention, guys, that 173 could definitely also be in here with us somewhere. He, he, it's not like he's gone forever. We have a dead Class D subject. And it's pitch black. How dirty. It becomes pitch black, so we die to 173, just like I mentioned. Alright guys, thankfully, we literally just saved. I'm so glad we did that. Oh my god. That would have been really bad if we were way far back. But, uh, we're gonna go this way instead. Is this... Have we been here before? No, because this is the burn note we had. So, what is this one then? But, we can now... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. The first burnt note. It has a code on it. 8946. Oh, if this is it. This is going to be legendary. Because I had to go to the damn pocket dimension for this thing. Unfortunately. Alright. Um, we can't go in there yet. That's okay. We'll take the elevator. Oh, no, 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 no. We have three other doors we can take a look at. Careful. I thought this was the room that went dark. Never mind, I was mistaken. <clears throat> okay. I'm so glad we have a freaking class 4, guys. We can literally go anywhere now. Well, almost anywhere. Hmm. What is that? Eye ointment, huh? Let's go ahead and use that. That was probably a waste, but, uh... <laughs> oh, this is the area where we died at last. And we have, is that a 3 or a 4? Another, a three, okay. We have a three here, unfortunately, that's useless to us, but uh, it would have been nice to have before. All right, all right. There's no way he came all the way up here. Whatever you say, man, I'm gonna take this elevator down. 173. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. We need to get out of here right now. I hear 173. Oh, no. <laughs> 106. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, do, 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 do. Wait, what? 
What? We're live? 106 saved us. Well, I use that term loosely. This is this is the most bizarre episode I've ever seen. That this is I, I can't believe this is happening. And of course, we're not actually out of the pocket dimension. But we are limping. And that's not good. I just want out of this damn place. If I can just scrape by here. Oh. I think we died. Wow, guys. This is um this is becoming very eventful, I guess you could say. Okay. What if we have the night vision goggles on? It doesn't matter. Oh. Wait. 173, just chill, man. Oh my god. This ain't happening. Hi, 173. You have such a lovely looking face. Just stay over there and leave me the hell alone. And now we have 106 on our tail. Great. And then 049 is right around the corner. We have three of the most popular SCPs on our tail, and this is going to be a nightmare. But I'm not afraid. Oh, now I am. Alright guys, I know we might not have gone very far, but I do just want to say that I can't wait to do more videos like this. More videos are coming. We're going to have to end it right here, but this was a pretty action-packed episode if you guys did like it. Some pretty crazy things happened. If you got jump scared by 173, let me know, because he definitely got me a few times. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to go ahead and like it and subscribe, do that down below to see more SCP videos, as well as Gary's Mod and other Mod Showcase content as well. I'm going to go get some sleep, because it's like 3 in the morning. You guys know the drill. Until next time, my friends, thanks for watching, and farewell. As always guys, the last video on my channel will be towards the left, and if you want to see a random video on my channel, click on the video to the right. Until next time.